Hello and welcome to the first episode of Tech ABC, part of my Dinish Guarda YouTube podcast series. Tech ABC, as the name says, is the Tech ABC. So in this series, I'm going to be profiling tech inventions, tech products, tech gadgets that I like or I'm studying, and uh, as well personalities around tech and especially products, brands, and organizations, and segments as well. As you know, my YouTube channel is right now, and thank you for everyone listening to me, the top 1,000 according uh, to Social Blade in Technology Worldwide YouTube channel. And uh, the podcasts are distributed all over the internet. And one of the things I like to do is to learn and discover new things. As a technologist, as a creator of technology, as a CEO, I'm as well a technologist that creates software, creates hardware, and I've been as well very involved in discovering new ways of learning different areas. And that's what this series is about tech, about gadgets, about inventions, about tips and hacks to managing technology, software, machines, and uh, a bit some of the things that can blow your mind or my mind first. And... Uh, is one of the things we want is subscribe, engage with me, and please, uh, if you have a great product that you want to as well present, send it to us. And the idea here is that you're going to be highlighting top gadgets that I like, or even the most non-famous gadgets that I think are relevant. There will be technology reviews, uh, amazing inventions, historical inventions, and different things. So it's about uh, education, technology, and practical areas. So today my focus is about 3D printing. And uh, in, in specific, I'm going to highlight a 3D printing um, machine uh, that is created by a brand called Creality 3D. That is quite a big brand on these areas. So Creality 3D is was founded in 2014 by four 3D printing enthusiasts. And Creality is a top global manufacturer of 3D printings. And their range of products include FDM and resin 3D printers, 3D scanners, laser engravers, and filaments. And they host some of the top brands um, in terms of uh, uh, sub brands and different areas of 3D printers, one of the biggest organizations on this. Uh, for us, some of the brands they have at two brands are Ender, Alot, and Sermon. And they've been capitalizing on the innovative leading technologies and products, and they offer consumer and professional printing solutions for makers, designers, schools, and enterprises. And the growth of the company has exceeded the expectations with over 1,700 employees, uh, 300 in research and developing personnel. And they've been producing in sight of 150,000 square meters, and currently they hold 533 patents. And Creality has been expanded to more than 100 countries and regions, including the United States, Canada, Australia, Germany, France, England, Brazil, and Turkey, and they've been shipped over 5 million 3D printers worldwide. So I wanna, for my audience, and as you know, I always like to be, before I start talking about the machine, uh, let's look at the 3D printing industry. The 3D printing, that means uh, printing or the addictive manufacturing, it is the construction of the three-dimensional object from a CAD model or a digital 3D model. And increasing is going to be more and more about AI and different 3D they can use directly from phones as well. And the 3D can, printing can be done in a variety of processes in which material is deposited, joined and solidified under computer control with material being added together, typically layer by layer. The aerospace industry was the first to embrace 3D printing and now regards it as the standard part of their toolkit. The reasons are clear, and like cars, aircraft are almost constant use and spend very little time parked. So just to before I go to the product, the 3D print, printing industry, it's a global industry. And at the moment, the global 3D printing as a market size valued at uh, US dollars of 16.75 billion in 2022, and is projected to grow at a compound annual or growth rate 
uh, of 23.3% from 2023 to 2030. So it's an industry still in the beginning. So today I will profile a 3D printer that is a consumer uh, small version, but very interesting one is the Creality Ender 5 S1 3D printer that has a retail price of around the $600, a bit lower. And the, the Ender 5 S1 is a very solid 3D printer for builders seeking to end size machine. It's faster than conventional Cartesian printers while taking up a little less room. Uh, and this is one of the finest 3D printers that you can get, of course, for a very um, comfortable price. You cannot expect miracles, but it's a very uh, solid one. And uh, it's a uh, CR touch and all metal hot bend. So the product dimensions are 20, 13, 18 inches. And the item model number is uh, Ender 5S1 3D printer. Uh, there's a lot of customer reviews. The average is between 3.5 to 5 stars. A lot of the challenge is how you start getting enough documentation to manage the, the machine. And uh, the best sellers rank, uh, it ranks in 337, uh, 975 in the industrial and scientific. And you can see as well in the list of three printers that we're going to put in this podcast. And it was launched first in October 2022, uh, less than one year ago. So in terms of uh, the, the 3D printer that I'm showing as I speak, um, I, um, I've i been testing it. I'm still testing it, but it's a lot of interesting things you can do, especially for small uh, objects. And the upgrade motion system for 2,000 millimeters um, acceleration and up to 200, 250 millimeters, five times print speed. It can print time by 70%, and you can feel the speed and passion of 3D printing with this um, three uh, product. Um, it has a higher efficiency, is eco-friendly, it's quite easy to put in, in a place. You don't need to have a big uh, functionality. And you can actually get direct ex extrusion adapted to flexible filaments, or end upgrade for item printing, and you can get a cool uh, model promptly where you can explore different areas. So if you want to print small products, this is your machine, and you can test and do this um, and go to different areas as you get more customized to this. There's a lot of ways you can um, use a machine like this. Uh, for instance, I'm testing small objects and small uh, uh, galleries, and probably I'll do another uh, episode to show some of the things we're doing as a team. Of course, I'm using a team. Uh, in order to plan this, you have to be a geek. You have to go through all the different parts. There's a lot of documentation, both on the website of Creality, uh, so creality.com, uh, where you have information about the machine. And uh, you can as well see a lot of different reviews and you can buy it from different parts. So I, it's a it's an interesting um, uh, a 3D printer where you can actually get a lot of different areas that you can explore and take it to the next level. So this is it for today. Thank you for listening. Um, I'll be doing much more series on Tech ABC and uh, please test the Ender 5 S1 3D printer if you are interested to do this. There's a lot of reviews you can see, but one of the things interesting about this, I'll just finish about this, is um, I think it, it uh, especially bear in mind that is a print uh, printer that is uh, quite easy to put and manage. It's a very, very interesting for, because of the full size of what you can do. And that as well, one of the things I saw in the reviews that I've been studying is that uh, you can find some internet print great and you can use it through different models. And you can run uh, different areas and, and work on this. As well, some of the things is the box printer. Uh, you could actually use it about assembling and then printing. It's quite easy to assemble because it's a, a, an easy to run. And as well, uh, of course, if you are more geek, you can assemble it quite fast. You can manage it. And especially uh, in terms of getting it, uh, you can contact the support center and uh, interact if you have challenges assembling the machine and taking it forward. Of course, this is a, a consumer 3D printer. Uh, and of course, it's a very, um, a very uh, affordable price. Uh, bearing the range of $500, $600, it's, it's quite uh, a very interesting product to do and test and move forward on this. So I would suggest to use it. And um, any questions, please put the notes on this series. And uh, I would appreciate and thank you so much for the time being here.